Raymond Edward Brown May 22, 1928 to August 8, 1998, was an American Catholic priest, a member of the Sulpician Fathers and a prominent biblical scholar. He was regarded as a specialist concerning the hypothetical Johannine community, which he speculated contributed to the authorship of the Gospel of John, and he also wrote influential studies on the birth and death of Jesus. Brown was Professor Emeritus at Union Theological Seminary UTS in New York where he taught for 29 years. He was the first Catholic professor to gain tenure there, where he earned a reputation as a superior lecturer. Brown was one of the first Catholic scholars to apply historical critical analysis to the Bible. As biblical criticism developed in the 19th century, the Catholic Church opposed this scholarship and essentially forbade it in 1893. In 1943, however, the Church issued the papal encyclical Divino Afflante Spiritu, which authorized Catholic scholars to investigate the Bible historically. Brown called this encyclical the Magna Carta of Biblical Progress. The Second Vatican Council Vatican II further supported the method of higher criticism, which, Brown felt, vindicated his approach. Brown remains controversial among traditionalist Catholics because of their claim that he denied the inerrancy of the whole of Scripture and cast doubt on the historical accuracy of numerous articles of the Catholic faith. Some traditionalists criticized his questioning of whether the virginal conception of Jesus could be proven historically. He was regarded as occupying the center ground in the field of biblical studies, opposing the literalism found among many fundamentalist Christians while not carrying his conclusions as far as many other scholars. Life Born in New York City, the son of Robert H. and Loretta Brown, Raymond studied at the Catholic University of America where he received a bachelor's degree in 1948 and a Master of Arts degree in 1949 as a Basilan scholar. In 1951 he joined the Scholarly Society of St. Sulpice following his reception of a Bachelor in Sacred Theology degree from St. Mary's Seminary in Baltimore, Maryland. In 1953 he was ordained a Catholic priest for the Diocese of St. Augustine, Florida. He earned the degree of Doctor of Sacred Theology from St. Mary's Seminary in 1955 and a second doctorate in Semitic Languages in 1958 from the Johns Hopkins University, where one of his advisors was William F. Albright. Following his studies, Brown taught at his alma mater, St. Mary's Seminary, until 1971. During this period he was invited to work as a research fellow at the American Schools of Oriental Research in Jerusalem, where he worked on a concordance of the Dead Sea Scrolls. In 1963 he served as a paradis expert advisor to the Bishop of St. Augustine, Joseph P. Hurley. At the Second Vatican Council, Brown was appointed in 1972 to the Pontifical Biblical Commission and again in 1996. He was the Auburn Distinguished Professor of Biblical Studies at the Union Theological Seminary in New York City, where he taught from 1971 to 1990, when he retired with the title of Professor Emeritus. He served as the president of the Catholic Biblical Association, the Society of Biblical Literature 1976-7, and the Society of New Testament Studies 1986-7. Widely regarded as one of America's preeminent biblical scholars, Brown was awarded 24 honorary doctoral degrees by universities in the United States and Europe many from Protestant institutions. Brown died at St. Patrick's Seminary and University in Menlo Park, California. The Archbishop of Los Angeles, Cardinal Roger Mahoney, hailed him as the most distinguished and renowned Catholic biblical scholar to emerge in this country ever. And his death, the cardinal said, was a great loss to the church. Topic: <laughs> Scholarly views. Brown was one of the first Catholic scholars in the United States to use the historical critical method to study the Bible. In 1943, reversing the approach that had existed since Providentissimus Deus fifty years earlier, Pius XII's encyclical Divino Afflante Spiritu expressed approval of historical critical methods. For Brown, this was a «magna carta for biblical progress». In 1965, at the Second Vatican Council, the Church moved further in this direction, adopting the dogmatic constitution on divine revelation Dei Verbum, instead of the conservative schema on the sources of revelation that originally had been submitted. While it stated that scripture teaches 
solidly, faithfully and without error that truth which God wanted put into sacred writings for the sake of salvation." Brown points out the ambiguity of this statement, which opened the way for a new interpretation of inerrancy by shifting from a literal interpretation of the text towards a focus on "...the extent to which it conforms to the salvific purpose of God." He saw this as the Church, "...turning the corner," on inerrancy, while adopting a face-saving wording. The Roman Catholic Church does not change her official stance in a blunt way. Past statements are not rejected but are requoted with praise and then reinterpreted at the same time. What was really going on was an attempt gracefully to retain what was salvageable from the past and to move in a new direction at the same time. While the document cited the two earlier encyclicals, it was clear to observers that much had changed. The Second Vatican Council, one scholar observed, raised biblical exegesis from the status of second-class citizenship to which it had been reduced among Catholics by an overreaction to the Protestant claim for its autonomy. <laughs> <laughs> New Testament Christology In a detailed 1965 article in the journal Theological Studies examining whether Jesus was ever called God. In the New Testament, Brown concluded that, "...even the fourth gospel never portrays Jesus as saying specifically that he is God." And, "...there is no reason to think that Jesus was called God in the earliest layers of New Testament tradition." He argued that, "...gradually, in the development of Christian thought God was understood to be a broader term." It was seen that God had revealed so much of himself in Jesus that God had to be able to include both Father and Son. Thirty years later, Brown revisited the issue in an introductory text for the general public, writing that in three reasonably clear instances in the NT Hebrews chapter 1 verses 8 to 9, John chapter 1 verse 1, 2028, and in five instances that have probability, Jesus is called God. A usage Brown regarded as a natural development of early references to Jesus as Lord. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Gospel of John. The Gospel of John is in two sections, which Brown labeled the Book of Signs and the Book of Glory. The Book of Signs recounts Jesus' public miracles, which are called signs. The Book of Glory comprises Jesus' private teaching to his disciples, his crucifixion, and his resurrection. Brown identified three layers of text in John, one, an initial version Brown considers based on personal experience of Jesus, two, a structured literary creation by the evangelist which draws upon additional sources, and three, the edited version that readers know today Brown 1979. Reactions Topic. Support Brown has been described as the premier Johannine scholar in the English-speaking world. Terence T. Prendergast stated that for nearly 40 years Father Brown caught the entire church up into the excitement and new possibilities of scriptural scholarship. Much of Brown's work was given a Nile obstat and an imprimatur the Nile obstat is a statement by an official reviewer, appointed by a bishop, that nothing stands in the way of a book being given an imprimatur, the imprimatur, which must normally be issued by a bishop of the Diocese of Publication, is the official endorsement. Let it be printed. That a book contains nothing damaging to Catholic faith and morals. Brown was the expert appointed to review and provide the Nile Obstat for the New Jerome Biblical Commentary, the standard basic reference book for Catholic biblical studies, of which he was one of the editors and to which he himself contributed, as did dozens of other Catholic scholars. Joseph Ratzinger, later Pope Benedict XVI, who has argued that the infancy narratives and John's Gospel are historically reliable was personally complimentary of Brown and his scholarship, and said that he would be very happy if we had many exegetes like Father Brown. Criticism 
Brown's work was controversial among traditionalists who objected to the elements of his work that they regarded as casting doubt on the historical accuracy of numerous articles of the Catholic faith. His critics included Lawrence Cardinal Shehan and Father Richard W. Gilstorf, the latter of whom postulated that Brown's work was a major contribution to the befogged wasteland of an American church progressively alienated from its divinely constituted center. Other writers, critical of historical Christian claims about Jesus, have criticized Brown for excessive caution, for what they saw as his unwillingness to acknowledge the radical implications of the critical methods he was using. Literary critic Frank Kermode, in his review of The Birth of the Messiah, accused Brown of being too eager to secure the imprimatur of the Catholic Church. The Hebraic Jesus scholar Geza Vermes speaking of the Nativity narratives has described Brown's coverage as the primary example of the position of having your cake and eating it. In the NY Times obituary, Gustav Niebuhr wrote, Father Brown was regarded as a centrist, with a reputation as a man of the church and a rigorous, exacting scholar whose work had to be reckoned with. Works <laughs> 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 Thesis Brown, Raymond E. 1955. The Census Plenure of Sacred Scripture PhD. Baltimore, Maryland, St. Mary's University. This was his dissertation in partial fulfillment of his doctorate in sacred theology. Brown did much to define the term census plenure and had an enormous influence on the 20th century debate concerning the term. Topic. Books His total of 25 books on biblical subjects include 1965. New Testament Essays. Milwaukee, Bruce Pub. Co. OCLC 6530571. 1966. The Gospel According to John, Chapters 1-12, translated, with introduction, notes, and commentary. Anchor Bible, 29. Garden City, New York, Doubleday. ISBN 9780385015183. Brown, Raymond E. 1970. The Gospel According to John, Chapters 13-21, translated, with introduction, notes, and commentary. Anchor Bible, 29a. Garden City, New York, Doubleday. ISBN 9780385037381. Brown, Raymond E. 1977. The Birth of the Messiah, a Commentary on the Infancy Narratives in Matthew and Luke. Garden City, New York, Doubleday. ISBN 9780385059073. Brown, Raymond E. 1979. The Community of the Beloved Disciple. New York, Paulist Press. ISBN 9780809121183. Brown, Raymond E. 1981. The Critical Meaning of the Bible. New York, Paulist Press. ISBN 9780809124073. Brown, Raymond E. 1982. The Epistles of John, translated, with introduction, notes, and commentary. Anchor Bible, 30. Garden City, New York, Doubleday. ISBN 9780385056183. Brown, Raymond E. 1985. Biblical Exegesis and Church Doctrine. New York, Paulist Press. ISBN 9780809103063. Brown, Raymond E. 1990. Responses to 101 Questions on the Bible. New York, Paulist Press. 
ISBN 9780809104419 OCLC 21483229 1993. The Birth of the Messiah, a Commentary on the Infancy Narratives in Matthew and Luke. Anchor Bible Reference Library Revised ed. Garden City, New York, Doubleday. ISBN 9780385494 1994. OCLC 1840333. With a reappraisal of the Infancy Gospels. 1994. The Death of the Messiah, From Gethsemane to the Grave, a Commentary on the Passion Narratives in the Four Gospels, in two vols. Anchor Bible Reference Library. Garden City, New York, Doubleday. ISBN 9780385193381. OCLC 2732279. 1997. An Introduction to the New Testament. Anchor Bible Reference Library. Garden City, New York, Doubleday. ISBN 9780385247275. OCLC 35,990,175. As editor. B. Augustine Cardinal, Fitzmeyer, Joseph A., Murphy, Roland E., eds. 1968. Jerome Biblical Commentary, in two vols. Englewood Cliffs, N.J., Prentice Hall. ISBN 9780135096192. Ed. 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 OCLC 355447. Donfried, Carl P., Royman, John Henry Paul, eds. 1973. Peter in the New Testament, a collaborative assessment by Protestant and Roman Catholic scholars. Minneapolis, Minnesota, Augsburg Pub. House. ISBN 9780806614000. OCLC 750095. Actemeyer, Paul J., eds. 1978. Mary and the New Testament. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Fortress Press. ISBN 9780800613419. OCLC 4724. B. Augustine Cardinal, Fitzmeyer, Joseph A., Murphy, Roland E., eds. 1990. New Jerome Biblical Commentary Revision of Jerome Biblical Commentary ed. Englewood Cliffs, N.J., Prentice Hall. ISBN 9780136149175. OCLC 19388491.